And there are more signs of improvement tonight. Hamilton County is no longer purple on the state's public health advisory system map, which is good news for Cincinnati Public Schools. The district is vaccinating its first group of teachers and staff right now. CPS will begin phasing in blended learning next week, and it plans to get the first dose to nearly 2,000 staff members before that happens. WCPO 9 News reporter Josh Bazan is live at Mount Airy School with details on the district's plan. Josh, what can you tell us? Hi, Kristen. Well, we've been talking to teachers and staff members as they've been coming in and out of the vaccination clinic here, and you can feel the optimism and excitement both to finally be getting the first dose of that vaccine, but also to be able to see students for the first time since November. They're starting to read, they're starting to put sounds together. And Consuelo Estevez teaches kindergarten at Covedale School. She says she's been making the best of remote learning, but can't wait to see her students in person again next week. And it's so hard through the camera to really engage in that. And I, that's my biggest thing is I can't wait to get them in there. Estevez was one of the first Cincinnati Public Schools staff members to get her first dose of the Pfizer vaccine Thursday. Since pre-K through third grade and some specialized classrooms will be the first to return to a blended model, CPS and the Cincinnati Health Department are trying to vaccinate staff who work in those buildings first. The idea is to try and get staff members the first dose before they go back to working in person. We want to make sure that we're sending the right message and that we're protecting ourselves and making sure that we're we have the safest environment possible for our staff and our students. Yes, I am super excited. Uh, yes, uh, it's, to me, it's time to get back, get back to school, but get back to normal. The Cincinnati Federation of Teachers surveyed two thirds of its members and says nearly 90% want to delay blended learning until March 1st or staff are able to get both doses of the vaccine. The union did not respond to my request for an interview. Estevez says she would like both doses, but is still comfortable getting back to work. I feel safer. You know, ultimately, I, I wish that we could have all teachers could have both doses before going back. CPS will slowly phase in blended learning by adding grades throughout the next month. And many of these educators say today is a big step in the right direction. Right now we see a light at the end of the tunnel. It's not bright, bright yet, but we see the light. And you know what? Just having that light there gives us a renewed sense of hope. And we just want our kids back. The Cincinnati Health Department plans to vaccinate 400 staff members here today and another 400 staff members here tomorrow. On Saturday, they'll set up a vaccin vaccination clinic at the Duke Energy Convention Center to administer the first dose to another 1,150 staff members. The first students in CPS to return to that blended learning model will do so in the classroom on Tuesday. Reporting at Mount Airy School, Josh Bazan, WCPO 9 News. I bet those kids will be excited. Thanks so much, Josh.